far, we have studied the geometric meaning of the zeros of polynomials and the relation between the zeros and the coefficients of a polynomial. Now we will see what can be common mistakes while solving these type of questions. Given figure is a graph of y is equal to px. Look at the graph and find the number of zeros of the polynomial px. 3, 1, 5, 4. To solve this question, pause the video and then match your answer. We know that for a polynomial px, the graph of y is equal to px intersects the x-axis at as many points as the number of zeros the polynomial has. If you have chosen the first option, it is a good try. But this is the wrong answer. While counting the points of intersection on x-axis, you forgot the coincident points. Recall that we have studied three cases of the zeros of a quadratic polynomial. In one of the cases, the graph intersects the x-axis at only one point, that is, at a coincident point. If you have selected the second option, then too, your selection is wrong. You counted the points intersecting the y-axis, but not the points intersecting the x-axis in the graph. If you have chosen the third option, that too is not correct. Along with the points of intersection on the x-axis, you have also counted the point of intersection on the y-axis. Recall that the number of zeros of a polynomial is equal to the number of points intersecting the x-axis of the graph of that polynomial. If you have chosen the fourth option, it is the correct answer. Well done! This graph intersects the x-axis at a total of four points. So here, the number of zeros of the polynomial px will be four. Let us now see one more question. If the zeros of a quadratic polynomial x square minus 5x plus 4 are alpha and beta, then what is the product of the zeros of this polynomial? 5 minus 5 minus 4, 4. To solve this question, pause the video and then match your answer. If you have selected the first option, then you have chosen the wrong answer. Your answer is incorrect because you used incorrect formula. You did not use the formula for the product of zeros here. You have used the formulas for their sum. If you have selected the second option, then your selection is incorrect. There are two reasons. First, while writing the coefficient of x, you forgot to prefix it with negative sign. Second, instead of using the formula for product of zeros here, you have used the formula to find their sum. If you have selected the third option, then too your selection is not correct. The reason for this is the use of a negative sign in the formula for the product of zeros. If you have selected the fourth option, then your answer is correct. You have chosen all the values correctly and calculated it using the right formula. Teachers can also test the understanding of students in the class with the help of such examples.